Hi everybody, this is Miss Veronica from the Poughkeepsie Public Library District and I'd like to welcome you all to our virtual program, Do-It-Yourself Pendant Craft for Tweens, which is now airing February 10th, 2021 at 4 o'clock. So if you've got this video, um, you had signed up for our program, pre-registration, and that means you would have picked up your registration bag um, here at the library. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the materials that you were given, um, and then we'll be able to do the craft together, uh, talk about some of the options you can do with the craft. If at any time you need to pause the video, please feel free to do so. When we get to the more creative aspect of this, I encourage you to pause it so you'll be able to um, make your own insert for the do-it-yourself pendant and um, we can go from there. So, uh, you got in your bag, um, which has a list of all the things that are included in the bag, but also that um, you can provide as well. So you'll need for your home, from your home, scissors. Um, if you want to create your own design, a piece of paper, it does not have to be white paper, it can be any color you want. Um, a pencil, we're going to use our pencil to trace around um, one of the glass inserts for the pendant. Um, we have colored pencils, crayons, anything like that. I'm going to be using markers today. And then anything in your house that you are interested in using. So if you have um, magazines that you or your parents may have, um, if you have maps, I'm going to show some old paper maps, ways to use those. Um, if you have maybe a book that's falling apart, um, and instead of throwing it away or recycling it, you can use um, some of the pages from the book. But let me show you, before we get started actually with the materials, what we are going to make, and that's this pendant here. So we're going to go through what's in the bag uh, in just a second, and you'll have the materials to do that. So you've got your scissors from home, your paper, pencil, color pencils, or any sort of crayons, markers, and then any other paper material at home that you'd like. In your bag, you did get one material already, and that's a magazine. So there are different magazines. This is a National Geographic one that was included in this bag. You may have gotten another one. And so we're looking for sort of small enough images to fit in here, um, but we'll go th through that in a moment. You also will have gotten four of these pendants. They will be empty right now. And you would have gotten four clear inserts, which are these right here. Those will go in the pendant later. Then I included, so you can make four items in total, two keychain rings, and we'll talk about how those attach later and two necklace cords as well. So, let's get started. If you're using something that uh, already has the picture, so for instance, a magazine, um, a map, um, you're gonna take the glass insert and whatever it is you're using, um, and you're gonna trace a square around that image. So, I'm gonna go through this magazine which has a tiger on it, and I love cats. And animals, if you find small pictures of animals, those will be really good. But I'm gonna use this image here of a cat because this will be perfect. So I'm gonna lower my screen so you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing. But I'm gonna be putting the glass insert on top of the cat's face, just like that. And then I'm gonna trace around it to make sure that I have the right size to fit into my pendant. So I've got my square drawn. And for me, I don't know if you're like me, I'm not the best of cutters on the first try. So I try to cut out a little more around it. And I'll rejoin you here, a little more around it. And that makes it a little easier for me to cut. So I'm gonna cut around the tr traced area that I did. And like I said, if you're doing this along with me right now, feel free to pause at any time um, in case you need to take a little longer than I do to cut, which is totally understandable. Like I said, I'm not the best cutter. So once I've cut around my 
pencil markings, I've got this image here. So this is an image from my magazine. Um, like I said, you can use whatever you'd like, um, but I'll go through the um, pendant making the first uh, time with this, and then we'll do another one. So I'm gonna take my cat picture, and I'm gonna lower it again so you can see my table. And I'm gonna take my pendant, and this is really great because you don't have to use any glue, but you put the pendant in, and it's okay if it's a little longer than the edge because it, it does kind of fit in nicely like that. And then you're gonna take your glass, pen, uh, glass insert and you're just going to press it right on top. And make sure you press it tight all the way around. And that's it. It's pretty simple once you get started with it and get the hang of it, but that's our first insert. So I am going to get one of my pendants, or I should say pendant cords, and stick it through. And now I have a necklace with a cat. So if you have a cat lover in your family, like myself, um, this would make a good birthday gift. This would make a cool um, Valentine's gift. Um, you can save it for the holidays at the end of the year. Um, but it's really nice for yourself or for others. And it looks um, like something you could get at a nice little shop, but it's also handmade and made with love. So that's our first example of cutting out from a magazine. Next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna warn you before I do it, that I'm not the best uh, artist, but I'm gonna do uh, one with paper and a marker to show you how you can do it um, with any design you want. So, you know what, since, let's see. This would be good also with coloring pages. So you could also take an existing coloring page, but I'm gonna make sure I have my size first. Let me put it a little closer to the end so I'm not wasting so much paper. So you wanna go around your square so you know that your design will fit. That's important. So here's my square. So I now know that whatever I do has to fit into this space. So I'm gonna warn you, again, I'm not the best of drawers, but maybe I'll do some geometric lines across and color them in. So like I said, at this point, since I'm working on this, I encourage you to do your own. If you wanna take your piece of paper, if you need to go find your piece of paper, feel free to pause this and you can go find your piece of paper, and then you can join in along with me. But I'm gonna color this, I think, in two different colors. And so we get a little contrast. I love blue, and I love green. So even though it has no, uh, nothing to do with Valentine's Day, <laughs> which I think these are a really fun gift for family and friends for Valentine's Day, um, we're just gonna do some green and blue. So I'm almost finished with this. You can get as detailed as you want with this. This is something that for someone like me who may not be the best artist or the best drawer, I like cutting out things that already exist, like the magazines. But, if you're someone who's really good at drawing their own designs, this allows you a lot of freedom and a lot of creativity. So we're gonna cut around the square again. And there's my sort of geometric green and blue lines. I'm gonna take another pendant, and we'll come back down for this. Take another pendant put in our design, and then we're gonna take another glass insert and press it in. I love this craft so much because you don't need glue, and the way these pendants um, fit with the glass inserts 
it's a really snug fit, so it's not going to be um, it's not going to be easy for them to fall out, which is good. So I made a, a necklace with my last one. Now I'm going to show you how to make the keychain one. So you've gotten your keychain, and sometimes you might need help with this. Um, I have some longer fingernails, so it's a little easier for me now. But you want to open your keychain ring like this in order to get it around or inside your pendant. So if you need help from an adult, it took me a long time to be able to do this myself. But once you've got it in there, you move it through and now you've got a keychain. So if somebody isn't a fan of wearing necklaces, if you prefer something that you could put on your keys, your partner key, your house key, um, your car keys, this is a great addition. So we've got our keychain there. I'm gonna do one more design option because I thought this was really cool. Um, I don't know, with cell phones and um, the internet uh, nowadays, if you're familiar with paper maps, but before GPSs, before Gmail, um, Google Maps, um, we had paper maps and my family still uses them in their cars. Um, and these are really cool options to make your pendant out of. And I'm gonna show you a finished one I did um, that actually has Poughkeepsie. So this was Poughkeepsie on the map that I just showed you. Uh, and I traced around Poughkeepsie and cut it out and made a keychain. So I'm gonna fi find another area and let's see if I can find some place near us. So this is a area of New England. Ah, here we go. So I found our area. I'm gonna take my glass insert and I'll move down so you can see me. And let's see, here we've got, an, ah, let's come up here and there's Millbrook. And you can't see it very well now, but I'll show you it in a bit. But since it's a local place that might make a nice item or as I said, gift for someone. And so now you can see I have my square around there. So I'm gonna cut my square and with a map it's a little harder because they do get big. But and I'm going to move this out of the way. Now, we've got Millbrook cut out. So I'm going to take my pendant, come back down. I'm going to take my pendant, put the insert in. Now it looks like I didn't cut it as well. You can see it's not quite fitting in there. So I'm just going to trim off the side here. So you can see that. And that's a better fit. A little better. Like I said, this is a pretty forgiving craft. I'm going to take my glass insert, put it in. There we go. That one made a little click and press it around. So now we've got a really cool local item because we've made it with a map that had our area on it and um, we've got Millbrook there. So let's see. I have another necklace left and I'm gonna slip it through there. Ooh, that was below the camera. But we're gonna slip it through there and close it up. So now we've got um, three really great examples of things that you can do with this craft. The sky's the limit with what you wanna draw, what you wanna find and create. Again, You've got your um, four different pendants, so you have the opportunity to make four different things. Um, but like I said, if you're creative and you want to draw your own designs, that's a great idea to make this a really personal and fun craft. Um, I want to thank you for joining me today. Again, I'm Miss Veronica, and we hope to see you very soon at the Poughkeepsie Public Library. Bye. Thank you.